time. As many of you know, of course, he was um, sort of seconded or with the high-level panel on digital cooperation um, for some months. So we're very fortunate to get him back here during this, uh, this crunch period. Um, so again, um, with that, I'm going to ask Mr. Liu to say a few words, and then Mr. Scheinfest, and then we'll open it up for a discussion between uh, the MAG and, and actually one other thing. There are at the very end some certificates of recognition for the outgoing MAG members, so um, if you can stay to the end to get the certificate, that would be great. If not, don't worry, we will certainly get them to you later. Thank you. Mr. Liu? Thank you. Thank you, Professor St. Amos. <coughs> Uh, for the moderators meeting. Dear colleagues from MAC members, I think uh, it's a very great honor and pleasure for me to meet you again. In Paris, last time we met in Geneva, that's my second time, that's my first time to, to join IGF. So I'm very glad to be back here. Uh, we are so glad to be after a year, we're coming in IGF again. I think, uh, so let me start thanking all of you of the MAG members for your support in the preparation of the, uh, this year's IGF. Without your support, I think it'd be not possible that we could have a good preparation of, of the session of the IGF. Uh, dear colleagues, I think uh, where we are, uh, we are going to have the opening session this afternoon. The Secretary General Guthrie is going to address the meeting. Uh, I think uh, we need to uh, reflect the what we are doing and how we are going to see our, our progress. Uh, for the MAC itself, definitely I think, uh, it, uh, let me glad to share you that the uh, Secretary General Couture has already approved the new list of compensation of the new MAC members that we are going to uh, be released very soon. Uh, so it be, uh, luckily it be the new MAC members will start the, the work uh, immediately after this IGF meeting. So let me also take this opportunity to thank those outgoing members of the uh, MAC uh, who are not uh, continuing to stay in the MAC, uh, in the group, for your contribution over the past three years in supporting uh, the MAC and supporting the IGF. And when we are looking at the IGF, I think we now we are now in the 13th year of, 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 of the IGF process. We are looking at what we have achieved. Definitely, I think we have achieved a lot. We could see that with the joint efforts of all stakeholders, we have achieved a lot over the past 13 years. But I think people outside this community are also asking, what are you doing for, for IGF? You are coming every year? What are you doing? What do you have achieved? I think let me say that really, this is a very, very challenging area that we are now engaging. I think the challenging that be first that be we are challenging many pressing issues in the area for uh, uh, internet governance. Uh, many of issues emerging uh, for uh, digital divides. I think for cybersecurity, for capacity building, for uh, privacy of the internet, internet users, many of the issues that they are emerging every day and every hour. Uh, uh, secondly, I think, be, of course, uh, there's a be, uh, divide among uh, member states, among stakeholders still remaining. That has been, I think, be has really uh, affected our progress in IGF process. Uh, third challenge, I think we are now definitely be this, uh, the, the, the rapid development of new technology in the so-called fourth industrial revolution uh, with, in, with artificial intelligence at the center of this fourth, so-called fourth industrial revolution. You know, I think when, we, when these three elements combine, IGF, we are, we are growing, growing, or we are Increasingly, we are confronting many of the challenges, the pressures, pressures from the governments, pressure from the old, old people, normal people from I think the people from the south. 
You know, within the UN, in the intergovernment process, I think uh, whenever I'm going to see the, the ambassadors, the diplomats from, and some even the ministers from the South, we have never seen the people uh, both excited and worried about the current industrial revolution. You know, we can't predict the bit. Even with this uh, new, new technology to be developed in the coming years or coming decade, actually, internet will continue to serve as a platform for, 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 for the use of the new technology. I think the people are worried about be, that be, we, we are still struggling for the internet governance. Uh, and I think you know the difference of members are still there. They, what, what are we going to regulate? How are we going to regulate new te technology? The impacts of new technology might be, might be caused to, to, I think, including the impact uh, on, uh, on basic values, ethnic values uh, in, in the future. So I think be, that be gradually, I think, a lot of worry about these uh, new developments. So that would be also the, the worry, I think, will become a kind of pressure on the process of IGF. So that's why I think be, uh, the, the, uh, over the past year, during my meetings with uh, professors and almost to be the chair of the MAC, to be, to be how, how we, could, we are going to in, improve our process how we could make good use of IGF really to speed up our, of our progress in the coming, year, coming years. So uh, this would be a challenge, I think, I'd be, I will show count on the continuous support of all the members of MAC. I hope it be these uh, new MAC members really be really devoted uh, some time to help a bit to develop a kind of mid-term not in addition to preparation for the forthcoming annual meetings, we develop a kind of mid-term program for the IGF process to see how we are going to really build up our efforts in supporting the IGF gradually. We are going to do something more substantively and we could, we could achieve some outcome in the coming years. Uh, uh, of course, this process still Challenging to be, I think we, we still need to develop, I think, uh, enhance our solid support from the, the, our capacity. Uh, capacity, we are confronting some capacity, be whatever, both the financial support and also the human resources support, as well as the secretarial support. So, a lot of challenges. I hope be, uh, the, the simply members of the MAG, you know the process much better than anyone else. I hope be you will be really devote some time to, 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 to consider how we are going to plan our future in next year. Uh, so let me, I count uh, on the strong support for you. Uh, I think you could also count the support from the, uh, from the Secretary, from UNDESA. But you see, uh, UNDESA, I think, be well prepared. Of course, we, we are also constrained in the resources that's why we should, we should rely on your uh, political support that be you are going to mobilize, mobilize member states that be they will continue to support this mechanism. I think uh, 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 I'm confident that in the next uh, three years, we will hope that we could uh, really achieve something to demonstrate that the IGF really could uh, de deliver something. We don't need to wait, but after seven years, a member state is going to decide, so, uh, we need to renew IGF for another 10 years. I think that would be, that'd be, I can, that'd be send a very poor signal. Of course, definitely, we need the internet governance would be a long-lasting issue, but we need to really improve the process, improve the process. So dear colleagues, I think uh, let's work together in the coming three years that be really to improve the process 
and to deliver some concrete outcomes. So Professor Sindamos, and also let me congratulate you. I think uh, you, you, be, you accepted to, 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 to continue to serve another year for the chairmanship. I hope be you will lead this transition process to make, I think, you making the MAC very more effective and more substantive. I thank you. Thank you, Mr. Liu. And we'll come back to any questions from the community in just a moment. But I would like to invite um, Mr. Stefan Schweinfest to say a few words. I have to also say that Stefan hit the ground running a few months ago, um, not having been a part of the IGF activities. Um, but he mobilized <laughs> very well um, a number of uh, resources in DESA who have participated deeply in a lot of our working groups, fundraising and, and some of the other working groups, and it's really made a, a very big difference. So I also, um, his efforts and Mr. Liu's efforts have also resulted in the MAG uh, and the MAG chair announcement happening later today. Should be on the website any moment now, I think. Um, and that's a full four months earlier than it's been the last few years. So we will have time to do a lot of the more strategic, more thoughtful work and some work on improvements. Um, we'll continue to roll out um, you know, the full set of IGF ecosystem activities. So I think we're all really excited about that. And I personally would like to extend my um, grateful thanks um, to everything they did to actually facilitate that happening through the, through the end. So with that, Stefan, you have the floor. Yeah, thank you and good afternoon. Pleasure for me to meet you. I'm Stefan Schweinfest with that last name. Everybody knows me as Stefan. So in case you see me popping up somewhere, I just wanted to briefly explain how do I get into the game here. I've been in DESA at the UN for 29 years and I'm a statistician and I've made it all the way to the director of the statistics division, which is one of the divisions. And I don't know what I did wrong then. I mean, but my boss obviously thought I didn't have enough work. Uh, and whilst the uh, Division for Public uh, Institutions and Digital uh, Government is currently looking for a new director and leadership, in the interim he has asked me to assume the, the directorship of the second division, so this is why I came in in the 1st of March until the process is concluded sometime next year. As you know, the UN is not exactly the fastest organization on the planet. It will take a little bit of time, and in the meantime, I'll have the extraordinary pleasure to work with you. Now, just because I was uh, put in this position, it does not, I wasn't genetically altered. It does make, doesn't make me overnight the biggest expert on public institutions or digital government or IGF. And I would be foolish to pretend that, but I don't have to because I have a fantastic team. Uh, in New York, Wai Min Kwok is of course leading the team in, in my division in New York and then we have of course Cheng Tai in the Geneva office in the IGF Secretariat and they will continue uh, to have the substantive lead but I can perhaps help a little bit. Uh, there are perhaps three things I can bring to the table after all these years. I know the UN system very well and I have a couple of important telephone numbers in my book and I could help indeed last week in order to deblock a couple of things that easily get blocked in the UN, so I'm happy that the MAC, chair appoint the MAC appointment and the MAC chair appointment for this year is done a lot earlier. I've, I also know how to manage things in the UN, so I'll bring that uh, to the table. And uh, the third point is in, with statistics, it's actually I'm learning a lot because statistics and data management and so we, we sometimes in privacy management we're talking about some of the same issues. I'm coming from a different angle but I learn a lot and I have the pleasure to work with you and people like Lynn and my team. So I'm, I'm wildly determined to do that well. If I can do something better just let me know. And uh, I think I'm coming in in a very exciting moment. There are lots of topics that are really, really interesting. And then there are the SDGs in the background where we all have to reflect in the UN how any process can help the SDGs. And of course, I just happen to be German. So this morning I actually had a first meeting with the German delegation and we already started the IGF 2019 mm -hmm. preparation. So whatever I can do to help in that process, I will certainly do that. So I'm here to serve you and a pleasure to meet you and thank you for your cooperation. And so now you have a sense of how we've been able to make <laughs> such progress in the last, last few months. 
Um, I really would just like to open it up to the floor to either um, current MAG members, because of course your term extends through the end of this IGF, and uh, any of the incoming MAG members that are, that are in the room. I mean, this is the opportunity for us as MAG to actually engage with um, Andessa as the institutional home in the UN for the IGF. Are there any? And so if everybody could um, please, again, introduce yourself, country, um, incoming or current MAG member, and which stakeholder group. Thank you. You have the floor. Uh, your Excellency, uh, the Secretary General, dear colleagues, uh, thank you so much for this tremendous opportunity to be here with um, so many excited people to participate in the internet governance because um, as we really see, as fourth industrial revolution is taking place in the world and the digital economy is now one of the main priorities. We in Russia, uh, we also put a really huge emphasis on um, on this development of the digital technologies and digital economy. And this is why internet is definitely uh, the basis uh, infrastructure for this. And so this is why uh, the more and more experts and uh, stakeholders should be involved. And this is why I believe this platform is very crucial for us. And I believe that uh, the new MAC um, group uh, will be able to really uh, commit to some specific results, to see some progress being made uh, in our work and uh, that uh, we will see some real gov internet governance as a result of our process, uh, as the process of our involvement. Thank you so much and good luck to all of us and uh, in our endeavors. Thank you. So you, um, you obviously, um, as you've just said, um, are from Russia. You're an incoming My name is Roman member. Chukov. Yeah. And if you could give us your name as well. Thank you. I think you just said it, but I was speaking over it. Uh, Raquel, you asked for the floor. Thank you, Lynn. Uh, so my name is Raquel Gatto. I represent Technical Community and I also work with Internet Society. I'm finishing my second turn as MAG member. Um, and so I wanted to share that this morning we run one session. So we're starting the IGF with a high note uh, about the IGF, uh, the improvements that the IGF and the future of the IGF can take. Um, I welcome very much uh, Mr. Leo and Stefan uh, for the, the remarks and uh, taking up on the, the, the need for change for the IGF. It's really important. Uh, we see and we're saying out loud that the, the world is much better with the IGF than without it, and uh, that's true. Uh, but it doesn't mean that the IGF is fixed and uh, uh, it's a, a, a good place. We're all here to make the IGF more powerful. And the improvements that um, we are going to prepare also some quick takeaways, but I can bring three of them. I think Mr. Leo Red mentioned uh, the need to deliver more uh, tangible results and, uh, and how we can improve the processes towards more outcomes driven um, uh, at the IGF. There is also a certain uh, fatigue uh, regarding some of the, um, uh, let's say, the schedules and the agendas and how we can improve also those processes to make these discussions uh, meaningful, to really make a cohesive and focused uh, program. And uh, that also takes for the MAG, right? I'm not skipping on the responsibility there. Uh, but uh, how we can bring those changes to really bring this focused program and discussions and will be helpful also for the outcomes. And um, uh, perhaps a third one um, that regards, we were very fortunate to have the three host countries, uh, the Swiss from previous years, the French from this year, and the German for next year. Um, but uh, I mean, now we are in a good place to have the host country confirmed for next year, but then we have another five years to go, right? So um, how we can also uh, make some of the efforts uh, by reducing not only the, the schedule and bringing this relevance back to the IGF, making it stronger uh, to have more um, host countries willing to do that. Sometimes the requirements are very hard. So for the, some of the <laughs> UN requirements are very hard. We've worked with some potential candidates and they, they couldn't afford it. So uh, as far as we can do something there, I think it's important now that we have time to look for 2020. So I will leave like this. Thank you very much for the opportunity also. Thank you, Raquel. Veni, and then Salah. Thank you, uh, Jeff. Uh, my name is Veni Malkowski. I am on the MAG uh, 
current member from the technical community. I'm the ICANN's vice president for viewer engagement, so I keep on interacting with DESA all the time, and uh, I have to share now publicly uh, that uh, our relationship is not only good because, you know, we invest in it, but also because you and DESA invests in having a good relationship with uh, uh, the technical community, the civil society, the businesses, uh, you name it. And it's a very good example. On the, on the IGF question, and uh, thanks, Lynn, for um, organizing several working groups within the MAC, uh, which were open also for uh, other participants to join in. Uh, really, the, the question is how to provide, how to ensure that it has stable funding for the Secretariat, but also how to ensure that there are countries that can take the lead and become champions of the IGF, if, we, if I can use this term. Uh, because uh, governments are, uh, I were, I were certainly hopeful, and that was the spirit of my, my colleagues when we were discussing this, because it's hosted in France and it's uh, with the high level participation of President Macron and others and Secretary General today, we are, cert we are hopeful that other governments will take a look and maybe have a second look uh, after, you know, so many years of having IGFs. But one reason for them to engage would be the fact that IGF created all these regional IGFs and national IGFs, and uh, they are becoming uh, they are becoming some entities on their own. They are developing now, I would say, far beyond the original idea of the IGF, you know, which was to have a global forum. And it's good because it provides different regional perspectives, and then they they bring them to the global IGF, and that makes it more viable. It, it makes it more interesting. And it makes it also, I need to remind everyone that the whole idea about the IGF was to, to have a venue where all, sec all stakeholders meet and discuss issues which are important for everyone. And we see that in the uh, hallways of the um, UNESCO today and tomorrow in the next few days. So it's a great uh, example of what we can do. I know we were all stressed out because of the late announcements and stuff like that. And even even regardless of that, I think the fact that we are here in this building and we are having the meeting, and even the lines were not that long in the morning when I came here at 8 o'clock, uh, it's a good thing. So thank you, Dessa, and thanks, Lynn, for your leadership as well. Thank you to the, to the Secretariat and certainly to the UNESCO staff as well, who I think have taken great pains to make sure people weren't standing out in the rain. Um, Sally, you have the floor. Thank you, Chair. Salinieta Tamanika Amaru for the record, but Sala for short to everyone. Um, it would be remiss of me not to acknowledge the amazing leadership by you, Lynn, uh, particularly the, the past three years. I know you're very modest, but um, the kind of leadership you bring to the MEG is one which fosters a family, and we felt like we were a family. It wasn't like work was work. <laughs> and we'd lovingly do things for you. Not because it was you, but it's just the way, it's just the style of your leadership. So, and this is a face-to-face -face MAG meeting, so I thought I'd personally put it in, uh, put it out there. We're extremely grateful. I'd invite my colleagues to put a hand, for, massive hand for Lynn. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and while, whilst we're there, um, I'd also like to acknowledge the amazing, unseen, invisible work that the Secretariat does, uh, often thankless, often a blind email sent to the Secretariat at crazy hours across crazy time zones to do things and expect unbelievable results, and you're pushed at 3 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m. So again, to all of you at the Secretariat, uh, Chengitai, Anya, Lenora, amazing Lenora, amazing Anya, and Luis Bobo. Everybody, just give a hand. <laughs> and, um, you know, um, the Meg receives criticism, and that's normal. I mean, uh, we expect that in life, and things sometimes don't go according to plans. Uh, things sometimes fail, and that's fine. But the thing is, we, we don't have to get twisted about it. If it happens, it happens. <laughs> You know, we, we innovate, and that's the strength of the MEG. The past three years, I've seen the MEG innovate. Like uh, the WebEx fails, hey, let's use Skype. <laughs> if somebody does a DDoS attack, you know, feel free to go around and, and innovate. And that's the beauty of Internet and uh, the Internet governance and the nature and the culture of it. 
And one of the strengths I've seen in terms of evolution of the MEG is the diverse synergies that went from assimilated blocks of people from diverse geographical regions to that being lost in just one global family space where people transcended geographical boundaries, transcended constituencies, where we were no longer, you know, so much into, okay, you're from private sector, I'm from civil society, technical, we can't relate, as opposed to, hey, common vision, guys. And that's the, that shows the strength of your leadership, Lynn. Uh, and, and I thank you for it, and it's been a privilege to work under you. And uh, having said that, one of the encouragements I would like to uh, give to incoming MEG members is, um, is, is, is to remember that teamwork makes the dream work. No one individual can carry uh, the load and never be afraid to ask for help. And, uh, and sometimes it's easy to criticize, but it's much more uh, productive to lend a hand. And, and sometimes um, I think, for, you know, from speaking from my own personal perspective, sometimes I should hold back, be less quick to judge, but more uh, quick to help, more quick to collaborate. And I think that's the strength of the MEG. And uh, personally, I'd like to thank each and every uh, one of the 55 members of the MEG who've influenced me in ways that you cannot begin to imagine. And I thank you for it. And also thank you to um, those who are unseen and who do thankless tasks but uh, may not be named, uh, previous MEG members who continue to support uh, in contribution and in uh, kind. So with that, Lynn, I'll stop there. Thank you, Sala. Someone said, once a MAG member, always a MAG member. <laughs> um, and I only have one friendly amendment to what you said, and that given the bottom-up community-led nature of the IGF community, of course, it's the chair that actually sits under all of the MAG and the community and work under you and at your, at, at your direction. Um, I think we often forget just how new a lot of what we're trying to do here is in the similar circumstances. So um, it's important that we're innovative. It's important that we learn to take appropriate levels of risks, learn, and then, and then move on. Um, but that means some things don't always move at the pace you'd like and don't always work as well as you would have perhaps expected. So um, personally, I think we always are open to suggestions for improvement, criticisms or otherwise. Um, we hope that the next statement, of course, is, and this is how I can help you fix that. <laughs> because we are a community-led set of activities, and we really need the community and the resources to move forward. It's not on the basis of four people and a secretary and a part-time chair that the IGF actually continues to improve. It's on the basis of all the activities of the community. Renata, you've been patient. You have the floor. Thank you, Lynn. Uh, I am Renata Kino Ribeiro, a civil society MAG member. I am outgoing, and I just want to say that uh, that's the best birthday ever. <laughs> uh, the good news here about the word, my favorite word, continuity, the announcement of the new MAG and the certificates. My mom will love that. That's a good birthday <laughs> present, too. But uh, most of all, um, really, I would like to thank uh, Cheng Tai for uh, the, his amazing work with the MAG and Lynn as well, uh, and welcome uh, our work for 2019. My colleague Jutta Kroll from IGF Germany has been such a light and such a uh, support in, uh, in my work this year. I would never think I would learn so much from someone on the MAG, so thank you so much. That's an example of how continuity is important. Uh, and I do hope that the new MAG feels that can always reach out to, to the former MAG because it is indeed the community that moves the MAG. I was community way before being MAG. So uh, I appreciate it very much, this experience. And I understand that um, we have, with the working groups, really made such huge steps with the working groups for improvements of the IGF, uh, the multi year, all of them. And I do hope that the community continues to give such a support. Thank you. Thank you, Renata. I'm going to move to this side. In the order we saw the hands in were Charest, Julian, and Arnold. So Charest, you have the floor. Sorry, yes, you have the floor. 
thank you, Chairman, and thank you, Secretary General Rajesh Charya from India. Uh, just I was just going through the words of Secretary General about the, what is the position of IGF and what will be the IGF doing. We have to understand that the next billion of the internet user is coming and the more and more internet user will come, more and more problem will come. And to resolve this issue, sitting amicably is very important. That's why during the Sharmal Sheikh IGF, I have addressed to the gathering that the IGF is required another for the 10 years. Now, okay, the 10 years are getting completed. Again, this 10-year extension is required for continuity of the IGF. Salah, you told me that the criticism is happening of the MAG. Only the person who is working will get criticized. The persons who are not working will not get criticized and will not get recognized. Team leadership is very important. And with the ecosystem and with the bottom-up approach, we can do a lot of things for the coming future of the internet user. And that's the responsibility on us to do. Thank you very much. That's very well said, Rajesh. Rajesh. Julian, you have the floor. Thank you very much, uh, Lynn. Uh, um, I'm Julian Casas Buenas from Colombia, um, outgoing uh, MAC member. And I want to take this opportunity to thank you all, uh, the Secretariat, Yulin, and also former MAC members that support me to better understand how to get involved in this space. And um, I feel that um, this has been very important for me uh, and the personal uh, level, but also for my organization and all the work that we are doing in uh, the local level with uh, our uh, Colombian IGF initiative. I believe that uh, being here uh, has been very important to uh, put uh, more efforts uh, on the local level and also to bring uh, voices from um, uh, grassroots organizations and people that are uh, not connected yet. And um, I believe that um, this uh, work we are doing here to keep an open and inclusive internet is very valuable, especially for developing countries uh, like mine. So thank you very much. And um, uh, I wish uh, the best for the new MAC members. And um, uh, I certainly uh, will keep uh, involved uh, from my uh, local initiative uh, with all these uh, internet governance issues. Thank you. Thank you, Julian. I should point out quickly that Julian actually led a working group on improvements this year that built on some work from a previous year. But what that effort did was took every improvement that's come through the CSDD working group on IGF improvements reports, the stock taking activities, the retreat that was held by DESA, organized by DESA a few years ago, and all the suggestions that come in through various routes and have categorized them in terms of what type of suggestion, what its impact is, and who should have or what group should have responsibility for actioning that. And they're beginning to share that sort of second level of, of I don't know, sorting, I guess, um, with the community here this week to move on. So again, we take the, the, the suggestions for improvement very seriously. And if you look at the size of the spreadsheets in the process, you'll know just how thorough um, that working group is being in terms of addressing those and trying to, to move forward. So I really want to thank Julian, too, for all of his efforts. Uh, Arnold, yes, Arnold, you have the floor. Thank you very much, uh, Lynn. And, um, Thank you, uh, Mr. Liu, for your uh, presentation, for uh, your um, uh, plea to uh, continue our work. Um, I'm uh, Arnold van Rijn from the Netherlands government, and I'm an outgoing member. Let me share very shortly a few thoughts I have on uh, the future of the, uh, the IGF. It's all about processes or content and money. On the side of processes, um, we all know there is a, a very important resolution from uh, UNGA 70-125, which calls for a further improvement of the IGF. We're nearly halfway. Looking back at the three years, I was a member of the MAG. I noticed a very powerful um, well, push within the MAG, all stakeholders involved, to uh, improve the IGF. Intercessional, uh, intercessional sessions, 
Uh, we have the best practice forum. We have working groups uh, working very hard within the MAC on funding, on local content, and um, we already came up with, with some tangible outputs. Um, so that should continue. And if we are talking about improving the IGF, my plea would be a IGF which is uh, working more structural, uh, more structural planning, um, having a focused and, and oriented outcome. That is very important to, to show the outside world that we are not, not a talking shop, but we produce outcomes, which of course other uh, platforms, because there is a proliferation going on globally uh, with, with, with organizations dealing with internet governance, who can pick up these signals coming from the, the IGF and then work on that further and re we report back to the IGF. That would be the ideal picture of a more structured uh, work planning of the IGF. Um, on the money side, I think it is also important to uh, increase the donors to the IGF. An organization without a secretariat cannot function. And we all noticed, has been said many times here, and I will support it as well, the IGF secretariat is doing an outstanding job after the last two years, and they will continue to do so. Uh, without a strong uh, secretariat, you cannot fulfill your task. Um, so we need more money. Uh, that was a reason for the Netherlands government uh, to come up with a, a, a five-year uh, contribution to the IGF, uh, making it more stable for the IGF to, to, uh, to see that money is coming, out, uh, uh, coming their way for a period of five years. So we would also plead to have other donors coming up from the private sector and other governments uh, to uh, financially uh, contribute to the IGF trust fund for a longer period than only one year. Uh, I'm very happy, and I was part of that, that a working group on funding, fundraising, uh, did outstanding job by producing a fact sheet and letters, but also a flyer. And I brought with me four, five hundred uh, flyers uh, asking participants here in, 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 in Paris uh, to think about it, to come up with uh, uh, a, a financial contribution to the IGF. Uh, that is a little step from, from the, 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 the MAC to uh, improve the IGF. Last but not least, um, we know that IGF 2018 is here in Paris. Next year it will be in Berlin. Uh, the Netherlands is hosting the European Internet Governance uh, next year, 19th and 20th of uh, June. You are all invited and uh, we are in contact with the, uh, the French host and the uh, German host to be to see whether we as a European IGF can contribute by prolonging the discussions which are taking place here and have hopefully concrete output to uh, bring this further to Berlin. That's a small uh, plea also from, from, from our side. So see us, the Netherlands or European <laughs> Internet Governance Forum next year as a small pillar, but important pillar under the bridge, Paris, Berlin. Thank you very much. Thank you, Arnold. Um, and of course, the thank you and, and recognition for everybody is great. Um, the concrete suggestions, <laughs> you know, are, are frankly like an, an, an early holiday present, I think. So um, I'm going to turn to, um, Oh, okay, I'll come into you in a second, Miguel, and then um, just turn to see if there are any final words on the panels before we actually give out the certificates. If I could just comment to Arnold, though, not only did the Dutch government actually make a five-year contribution, if you look at the running rate over the first 10, 11, 12 years or so of their contribution, they actually tripled their annual contribution and they actually committed it for five years going forward. Um, and they have certainly given us permission to um, use that to, if you will, to spur other um, equal contributions. Um, we really do depend on contributions to run the secretariat and support the intersessional activities. And as Arnold said so clearly, without um, those funds, you know, we, we basically are trying to run forward in the, you know, fairly pampered. Um, so Miguel, you have the floor. Thank you, Lynn. Uh, well, my name is Miguel Ignacio Estrada. I'm from Argentina. Uh, I'm one of the members of the technical community. 
Uh, this is my third year as a MAG member, so I don't want to miss this opportunity to, first of all, um, echo Raquel's comment on the importance of those improvements for the future of the IGF. Uh, I would also like to thank uh, UNDESA for being so diligent in selecting the new MAG members. I think this is really important for the future, for implementing those improvements uh, for the future of the IGF. Uh, also, I would like to echo Salah's comments on the Secretary's uh, work. Uh, it's been three years here, and I don't know how they do it. Uh, they work really, really hard, uh, really, really hard. And finally, thank you, Lynn, for your leadership. Uh, you are a really good leader. Uh, you are really positive, and it's, a, it's that's been a pleasure to work with you. Uh, I hope I can still work with you all uh, in the working groups. Once a MAG member, always a MAG member. <laughs> um, Mr. Liu? Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Lynn. I think I'd have, let me thank uh, those members who have spoken, I think, uh, for your uh, kind words, for your remarks, for your, for your insights, and for your, for your suggestions. I think, uh, let me once again to thank those uh, all game members for your contribution. As uh, Professor said, I must say to be, even you are going to leave the MAC temporarily, I think you will be our honorary member forever. You, but definitely you are, you are a permanent member for the, for, for, for the IGF process. <laughs> uh, um, let me share with you, after listening to you, I think, be, actually, I'm always thinking be how we could build up IGF process. I think really, in my mind, it's only three words. First is sustainability. You know, uh, this is a process of we, we need the support of all stakeholders. Definitely, first and foremost, we need support from the governments. I think why we just have IGF forum, because it's a convergence and political will of the member states has not been consolidated. Otherwise, there should be an international organization. Then, because I think we're still in the process of building that. So, uh, so it's, a, it's, it's the, I think to, be, to, be, uh, to keep the IGF process be sustainable, I think that would be a challenge for us. So I hope that be, I think be, even we are going to, to, to produce something in the, in the coming years, doesn't mean IGF would be concluded. We need to maintain IGF for some years, or maybe for some decades, definitely, because IGF governance, together with the emerging new technologies, will require our attention for the forthcoming decades. So we need to maintain the attractiveness of the IGF process, be to have the support and of, of all the sectors I think one colleague mentioned be we need to avoid any fatigue. Uh, so we, then, f to avoid that, we need to active participation of all stakeholders, especially from you, from the scientific community, from the business sector, from the civil society, and from the government sectors. Uh, so it's, uh, it's I think, to, 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 to ensure the sustainability of the process still our challenge, I hope a bit, but I'm confident that we could achieve that. Second issue is, is productivity. That be, after 13 years, I think be, uh, some of you also mentioned be, we need to avoid, be, we just avoid becoming just talk show, show, just talk. We need to also produce something. This is not only, this will be a challenge for the Mac, I think to, to ensure that be, we are going to sustainable, I think be, we are not going to just talk. We need to have a really very substantive planning for the first coming process. So productivity, I think, will be really be kind of a challenge for, for us, for the process. Third, is, third word is universality. Uh, uh, over the, since over the past 13 years, I think uh, we have tried our best to ensure that be the universal participation for all countries, but uh, due to various reasons, I think participation from the South is uh, not so active. 
uh, I think uh, even including the hosting of the ITF sessions, that be we need to continue to encourage the more meetings would be organized in the southern capitals, southern cities. So, so uh, that's I think be if we really work on the, to, to to this to achieve the goal of these three words, I think that that be definitely we are going to make a progress, going to make a progress. But uh, for the UN, I think be we should continue. Secretary General himself, I think, determined to support this process. Uh, he has also intention to build up the secretariat of, of, for supporting uh, um, the, this uh, IGF process. Of course, you see, due to various reasons, I think, be, uh, in view of be the, the, the regular budget is not sufficient for that process. There will be you know, the, the tendency in the UN of the member states, okay, asking us, Secretary, to do, to do this, to do that. But they never approve budget. So it would be always we have be we along, rely on us for the for the for the resource mobilization. So I appreciate the be our colleague from Netherlands be he offered some very 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 nice ideas. I think we we, we hope we, uh, all of you will continue to help the IGF to help the MAC to continue to not only to work for the program but also to mobilize the resources. Only by doing that, I think we should really make this process more, more, more substantive. So uh, you could, you could uh, uh, count on the support of the UN Secretary for DESA. I think uh, we, we should continue to work with you in building up this process. So Professor Amos, I think uh, we should, um, I hope it be the new MAC will continue to work uh, to make a substantive contribution under your, under your leadership. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Liu. <coughs> Thank you. Stefan, are there any words? No? Yes, Nothing more to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, then Chengatai has a couple of announcements, I think, to make, and then um, we'll move to um, handing out the certificates for the outgoing um, MAG members. Chengatai? Uh, very, very quickly, um, beginning since everybody was thanking everybody else, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the MAG. It was very great working with you, and of course, I'll continue to work with you. And also, um, Lynn, of course, as the chair. Uh, but I also want to mention, because they weren't mentioned, um, Wyman and Dennis. I talk to them every single day, <laughs> and they are very, very helpful. So uh, just to make sure that they are mentioned, and you do know that they are a very critical part of the team as well. Okay, thank you. And of course, thank you to Stefan for <laughs> the backup. Thank you. Um, for the um, photos after the award, um, giving out the certificates, let's all meet downstairs by the Picasso because we would like to um, set our positions because when the um, Secretary General has finished his speech, he only has five minutes um, presently on the schedule and as you know these things do tend to take more time than was scheduled for so we might be squeezed out so we want to be ready he comes stands takes a photo and then he goes so after this can we please meet downstairs thank you uh, just the current mag unfortunately <laughs> It's downstairs, so you know the Picasso on the wall. I didn't recognize it as a Picasso, but I'm not. Uh, <laughs> In front of room one, thank you. Yes, after the open. So let me just repeat what Chengadai is suggesting is we're going to give out the, the certificates here now, and then I think he was requesting everybody to go downstairs immediately after that to understand where the where they're going to be standing. Because everybody's going to be placed, apparently, so that we all know where to go when we all rush out of the opening ceremony after President Macron's speech to take the picture really quickly. And I think what he's trying to say gently is if you're not there within about two minutes, you're likely not in the picture because <laughs> it will be like that. Um, so I think that was, yes, that will leave the, the ceremony to you. And uh, of course, Huge thanks to everybody. I think we may need to split this into two sessions, one where we do sort of formal thanks and another where we actually do engagement on improvements and 
Um, but obviously, none of this could be done without the full support of the MAG and the community and all the support we all have, each of us individually behind us. So thank you very much. Over to you. Uh, so the first certificate is for Russia. Mr. Abdullah, please. <laughs> and then Ziana, please. Diana, yes. <laughs> I'm saying it wrong. I'm so sorry. <laughs> now you get to know if I know all your name. Yes, I know. <laughs> uh, Julian. Julian. Oh, Julian. Oh, okay. Now it goes. Comes. Yeah. Yeah, Julian. Yeah. Alejandra. Miguel. Billy Chen, is he in? I didn't see him there. Billy, yes. No, never mind. Yes. Uh, wisdom. Is Mohammed here? <laughs> no, now you're forcing me. Mutaz? No. Okay. Um, Renata, please. Yeah. Oh, birthday. Ahmed? Yeah. Mm. Salah? Tengatai, Tengatai, at last we have a small present from the MAC to you, since oh. you have a new position. <laughs>
rehearsals.